got my pink and some water. Got my reference. I'm going to turn this around this way because I'm going to work in this section for my value. I don't have the rest of it finished yet. So a few brushes and a paper towel. So with watercolor, you have to start with those washes first. So I'm going to come in, get my paint. I call it activating it, basically thinning it out some. Black's tough because going to go on pretty strong. I think I'll go with my water, kind of a middle tone. The kayak's going to be lighter, except for in the shadow areas. Paddles will go a little darker. So I'm going to lay down a wash. I'll use my water to go to my line. I'll work around this area. just seems heavy to me but since I've got my water down I'm gonna move it around real quick so I'm not going to brush over and over in an area I'm gonna try and move my paint through fairly quick here I'm gonna leave it a little washy and I can see my little wave line so I'm gonna go back in darker after it sets up a little bit come up here again comes in pretty heavy there and actually my paddle I think is going to go darker than this it may not work out like that think about that a little bit more but again moving quickly through my wet and wash let the water carry it this area might be drying up too much still wet Go a little darker around the kayak. I'll move some up into here. But the reason I want to make sure that I show this is I want to remind you not to put the paint down thick. It's watercolor, you're using water to move that paint around. You go back into it to build up your values and you never put it on thick and opaque, okay? So I've got that wash in there. I think I'm gonna come up this way because I wanna let that kind of set up. And I'm gonna have these dark shadows from my reference here up in, oops, I gotta get it in here, up in this area. So I'm looking at my reference. Actually, let's just fold this in half so that you can see the one that I'm really looking at. Okay. So, I'll come up in here, go along this edge. Maybe get a smaller brush for this. Took on more water than I wanted, really. So I'm gonna come in with a little bit more pigment.
So here I am back again, uh, ready for some details. Um, I'm going to come in with details on my on the kayak itself. Kind of messed up a little bit. I was thinking I kind of had I had this end wrong as far as for the front, but that's okay. I'm going to flip it around. I probably would have made the water ripples differently. But I'm going to work it like this. So, got a little bit of an edge here. I'm also thinking I should have my smaller, a little bit smaller brush. Let's move this around. Try and show you what I'm doing more. So this area up here, I'm just going to get a little bit of tone here. But I hope you see how I've used these light washes first. And now I'm starting to build in my darker values. This is one of my darkest areas, so I can come in and darken this now. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and be fairly dark. I may regret it if it bleeds into that, but I don't think it will. Well, it is a little bit. That's okay. I'll go back and fine-tune that. Um, now, I need to get some tones. Oof. Again, starting to go more than I want up there. Eh, I'm going to leave it alone for a minute here. Um, so, I have to figure out the rest of the boat. So I'm going to give a little bit of value along this side and kind of clean up along here. So I might work smaller areas. So hopefully you see the process though. Nice light washes. Um, look for your values. You're trying to get a sense of form, so you have to have a range of value, and you build from up to your details. So I'm just now getting to my detail stage. You don't want to start putting details in too early. You don't want to try and develop one area um, all at once. You'll see that I have worked the whole page here. So, good luck with yours. Um, take it easy. Um, make sure you get some detail and that you have some reference that shows some form. And the variation of value is how you get form. <laughs>